from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. African connectivity, digital and financial services company Vodacom is on track to finalize the transformation of its Midrand campus in Gauteng into a 10.5 gigawatt hours a year grid-based solar photovoltaic plant by December, about five months ahead of schedule. Tracy Hancock tells us more. After installing more than 11,000 solar photovoltaic or PV panels over 30,000 square meters of rooftops and carports at its Midrand campus, Vodacom South Africa will have implemented the largest on-site solar power generation system in Vodacom Group. But before undertaking the project at its headquarters in Gauteng, which should be finalized by year-end, Vodacom South Africa embarked on an extensive energy efficiency program. We had a, a period of around about eight years where we implemented a very um, um, deliberate projects um, within the energy efficiency um, realm. That um, resulted in us actually reducing our energy um, consumption by 54% of what we originally started with. And I think before you actually produce green power or take power from, from any source, it's to, to, it's to make sure you, um, you get as efficient as you possibly can. The Midrang campus is energy hungry, with a multitude of services on site. The 6.2 megawatt peak solar project will not only reduce demand on the national grid by more than 25% during peak generation periods, but will also allow for an almost 11,000 ton reduction in greenhouse gas emissions annually. The energy hungriness of this campus does not come from the um, commercial offices component. It comes from all the other sources like the warehouse, the office and the data centers itself. The split between the energy consumed on site is 70-30, with 70% of it goes to all other facilities except for the, um, the, the commercial or the office facility. So a lot of what we have incorporated in terms of the actual design is pushed to the energy hungry sector sections of, um, of the actual facility itself. The Midran project, which is also the first on-site power purchase agreement or PPA in the Vodafone Group, has progressed ahead of schedule despite logistical challenges. At the time that we started um, the actual project, um, you know, uh, PPAs in the form that we currently have, it or even independent power providers were not really interested um, or well developed enough to be able to cater for smaller projects um, that, that we currently have, um, you know, on the campus itself. So I think for me, that was one of the biggest um, lessons learned in, in terms of how to forge that partnership and how to approach it. Uh, um, a lot of the partners or IPPs were generally IPPs that wanted to register large projects um, you know, with ESCOM um, and, um, and it's generally done at scales. I think another key challenge which we really thought would, um, would push, our, push our timelines out was we had started the project as um, ESCOM had launched stage four, five, six um, of, of load shedding, which mean, meant everybody that we knew were looking for solar panels, inverters, equipment, all of those type of things. So that became a, a uh, incredible challenge for us to actually uh, ensure that based on the pace of our project, that the supply of all our equipment um, was coming um, in at the time. When you, when you think about procuring some, something just short of 12,000 solar panels to a specific site that needed to come on time when it was ready for, the, you know, for those uh, phases to have it installed, um, it in itself is, is quite a complex um, process. Nonetheless, the three-phase project started in November last year has piqued a lot of interest in the implementation of similar projects across the Vodafone Group. I think uh, the fact that we've been, you know, we've been commissioning it as the phases um, have been completed, um, and people are seeing the benefit of it, um, um, has has been has been good for us. Um, it's prompted uh, a number of other projects. So definitely, feasibility studies uh, being done or completed on all our owned buildings um, from from a Vodacom perspective. So we have uh, targeted installations on some of our office buildings as well as that of our um, data centers, so quite excited to see how that 
um, you know, all comes together. Vodacom is also discussing the introduction of green leases and practices with the property owners of its leased buildings, which further promotes the planet pillar of its corporate strategy. Once we achieve uh, the greening of our power, we create an education um, and um, and uh, a, a, an awareness around the importance of um, energy efficiency, uh, conservation, security, and, and just general day-to-day -day practices in terms of what everybody can do towards um, redu reducing, um, you know, our um, our impact, um, you know, to the carbon footprint, to climate change per se, um, as well as, uh, you know, uh, building a um, a culture that is that does not have um, the environment as an add-on, but rather that is uh, integrated within our DNA as we move forward. Vodacom's next move is to introduce battery energy storage at its Midran campus to enable the supply of power during load shedding and power failures. And it will undertake a feasibility study to identify the best possible battery technology available. The start of our actual journey um, to create clean um, and renewable power um, on, you know, on, not only on this campus, but what will be implemented across um, our footprint, not only in South Africa, but across the footprint. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.